Hey everyone, Joe here from ActionX. Welcome to What's in the Tube. Welcome back. This is your final Nancy Drew episode review. It's the um, it's the last one. Uh, ironically, earlier this week we had our High School Musical final episode review come out. And now we're also saying goodbye to Nancy Drew. It was just um, very uh, unfortunate timing. For, for me personally. I knew this was coming for months and months that this was going to happen and now that it's all said and done it's um it's one of those that's history has been made and we keep moving forward and I am going to miss this show a lot. I really am. This was the first new show I ever reviewed here on Once of the Tube. Uh... And the fact that it's finally over, and I, again, as a novice person who didn't know what was going to happen, like, I thought Nancy Drew would have went on for at least five or seven seasons, at least. That just seems to be the average, you know, regular-ish CW lifespan. And there were kudos in the story to tell more, but thankfully the writers wrote this season off to make it the last one, and by the time we ended it, it was open-ended where... <laughs> You hope for the best for these characters to realize what is next for their future. And you never really know. You never really know. But, you know, to be more realistic, it was a very fitting set-off for this cast, for these this, this team of characters, for the Drew crew itself that's been telling these stories for four seasons, that now that it's all said and done, we can all at least breathe a sigh of relief that, okay, at least they told the final story on their own footing. And I will forever miss this cast. I will... And not to say, obviously, of course, you know, given how um, I think this was a show they only figured out by episode 10 that this was going to be the last one that by the time they were getting into it, like, okay, now, now we can like pivot into figuring it out. And I, I do believe they did the best they could to like make this a series finale. They wrote things around there where I'm pretty sure season five would have been a time jump if we had gotten one um, or, you know, some recollection of that. But either way, um, the way it ended now was was sweet. And I maybe would hope someday we will see the Drew crew in the future. But for now, um, this serves as their final goodbye, leaving Horseshoe Bay in good hands. That they will be fine, hopefully, hopefully speaking, until another Supernatural Friday arrives. Um, but for now, let's go for the Butch Recap for the last time on Nancy Drew and talk about the series finale for Nancy Drew. So we begin right where the last episode left off. The town's in chaos. Everyone's being corrupted with sins, basically making them all very greedy versions of themselves, being blinded by the Sin Eaters' um, sins. And uh, yeah, the whole town's crazy. Uh, everyone regroups back at the Historic Society. And they're I, 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 in the beginning a little worried. Like, what if, the, what if that woman's there, the one who released the spirits? Um, no, she already rode out of town. She's gone already. Like, you didn't even make an appearance. She's just like a coward. She's just like, yeah, y'all fucked. Have fun. Bye-bye. Uh, hopefully we'll never see her again, um, which we won't, but still. Um, they break in, and they're trying to figure out what is a possible way that they could... Um, figure out how to, like, you know, get all everyone back to normal, and Bess having to put out, like, a, uh, an SOS to, to everyone else out there in the Historic Society network that, is there anyone that knows how to stop this thing? And what's it? Well, the Sin Eater is super powerful, so if you were to, like, control his energy, to control his energy, then maybe you can possibly release all the sins back and, like, you know, kind of, like, vanquish them, like, kind of, like, you know, a infinite wave of energy, so to speak. Uh, Tristan's down for it. He says, if they got no other option, then this is the only thing they can do. They, they, they really don't have much of a, a choice right now but to do so. Uh, obviously, it's still a risk. It's not a guarantee to work, uh, but it is at least a um, something they could do. Uh, a shows up, fills the men about like what happened with the um, with the I already forgot her name the 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 spirit that her him and Nancy helped release last episode. He's not really there for much else. He's just there. Okay, we gotta save the town again. It's like you know. Like it's an, uh, end of the town time, so I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's go fix this everything. And quickly, thankfully, they managed to um, fix the to make this uh, antenna like device that would be uh, usable to do so. And again, it's a it's still a risky maneuver and everything, but like you know, they got no other choice. So um, they power it up, they tie Tristan down. Uh, sad to say, it does not work into its full capacity. Um, it, I forget how they figure this out, and I remember. Uh, so what I remember is that. Uh, it turns out Tristan's soul 
is um, um, stuck with someone uh, because when Na when the when the wave fails and uh, they realize what the hell happened, Nancy collapses. She has visions of these past lives that it seems like it feels like her, um, and then she makes the deduction that like okay, so um, these were my past lives, and now I need to find out like what is the correlation between them. Um, they hypothesize that. Um, Tristan's senator soul cannot go to its full capacity because it's entangled with another soul. So until they remove that connection, it's not going to work. So they figure out, okay, Nancy and Tristan are connected somehow from the past lives. And they assume, like, oh, it was it was um, Tristan's previous life's lover. So that's the key. So they got to sever the link so that they can be able to use it um, to full capacity. But of course, they need to find out, okay, where would be the they need obviously like a device like a, not a device an item that like links them both strongly that would create enough of a link so they can figure out how to find um a piece of the remnant for because they needed to like sever the link uh, to perform um Bess's ritual. Uh, meanwhile, the town's in chaos. Carson and um, Ryan's new girlfriend are just gallivanting for the city, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Um, they help out the. Mortician um, from his wife's store getting robbed over. Uh, but sadly, both Carson and the woman get infected with the mist, so they become like kind of like greedy as well. Ace is just watching, like realizing, oh great, I'm stuck on babysitting duty again. Um, so I think they eventually do some research. They find out that the um, the location that Nancy was seeing in her visions were like the same location. It wasn't three separate locations. It was like one location. Uh, throughout history, so they find it in this um, area in, in the town that was remodeled over, over time, so they, they decide to go over there. Um, I know there's a scene between Ace and Tristan where Ace is just re reassuring Tristan, like, no matter what happens, Nancy will always find a way to save people. She will always find a way to save you, or, like, you know, save the day. So that is one trait that he loves about her, but obviously, you know, again, he can't be with her, so... Uh, I know. I I also remember that Nick's girlfriend comes in saying that oh you're like always making an excuse to like you know prevent this road trip that we're supposed to do. But she's like okay you know what I realize okay the town's in danger I'm I'm helping out what do you need me to do? Um, so she um, saddles up to go find um, Nancy uh, Nancy's dad and uh, Ryan's w gr girlfriend. So he she goes out to go find them somehow. You know we we need a reason for her to do something. Um, the Drew crew plus Tristan head into town. It's a, it's a whole massacre. Everyone's like, you know, committing every little petty crime on the planet. Um, uh, for some reason, a group of the townspeople are looking for the witch, which again, this, you know, thinking that, you know, Bess is the witch. Uh, but thankfully Nan Nancy decides to take the attention off her and like, you know, tells him I'm the witch come after me. So a pretty, very nice chase scene. Like, you know, I always love chase scenes. I really do. This probably costs a little bit of the budget since they get to hire all those extras, but, um, so yeah, so they chase into Nancy into a stadium like like thing or something with a gate, a parking lot or something like that. Um, the Drew crew try trying to chase her down, trying to save her, but it doesn't really work. Um, Nancy manages to lock everyone in the parking lot for the time being, but she manages to escape via a back way. Which I'm like, if Nancy can get that way, they they can eventually do so. But they're probably dumb dumb, so um, they'll figure it out there. Um, yeah, eventually they re they look at the map and they realize, okay, it should be in this house, this crawl space, so it should be there. So um, they head inside. They find the scissors that was in Nancy's um, visions. So they found they found the um, the item that they need for the ritual. So they head back to the historic society. Um, they they're like about to start the ritual, and they said, "Wait, hold on! Before since this is a very powerful ritual, there's a chance you two might not be able to come back naturally into your physical physical body. So we need to have someone else get in there and." you know, bring you guys out in case, you know, we need to. And Ace volunteers because, well, since he has the death curse, it might be helpful for him to track Nancy should they get separated for some reason. So he agrees to go in again, like, you know, um, looking at the fact that, like, yeah, Nancy and Tristan could be soulmates. So, like, you know, he has to, like, kind of, you know, sucker it up and accept uh, how life is right now. Um, George has to split off because she has an interview meeting with uh, a, college, a college admission uh, person, which I'm like, of all days... To have a subplot, a second plot B, and it has to be this episode in the, in the grand finale. Okay, you know what, fine. Um, George heads over to the claw to rehearse her uh, interview, but she runs into Carson and um, uh, Ryan's girlfriend, who are you know has stolen a lot, a lot of stuff. It's a lot, a lot of stuff, and. Uh, 
she's just like, I can't deal with this right now. Y'all need to leave. The lady immediately comes in for the door, and she's like, kind of appalled, like, what's going on here? Um, Ryan comes in. He's like, oh, oh yeah, I'm here to like pick these people up. Don't worry. Like, I'm gonna take you guys to the back room, like you know, to get away from everything and not be crazy, um, because that's kind of how they're acting right now. And George is like, great, it's interview time. Um, during the interview, it turns out George actually fibbed a lot on her um, application, so. Uh, a lot of these things are like you know not entirely um, truthful, but she does tell the truth. Hey, listen, like I've been I've been working my ass off, I've been studying my ass off. So if you want to criticize me for you know doing all this for like you know having to like uh, lie to get into a, uh, into <laughs> into getting a meeting with you, then I'm not worth your college. Which I'm like, okay, it's not the it's not the best thing in the world to explain, but you know what, it, it is still workable uh, at least in my opinion. So. Um, yeah, so, uh, she basically blows off the admissions lady to go help out the others. Uh, I believe, I want to say it's Nick and Ryan that's, I think, like, a mediator to, uh, the corrupted, um, Carson and, uh, Ryan's girlfriend, where it's like, yeah, these are, like, deep-rooted sins, deep-rooted, you know, um, feeling that, like, you know, Carson wants to be for the baby, even though, like, the girl, the woman does not kind of want to be with Carson right now, but he's trying his damn best, and Ryan's girlfriend does not want to stay in Horseshoe Bay. She wants to explore. She wants to see the world, and she's kind of, you know, upset that Ryan is not uh, reciprocating that because, like, you know, he has a sense of, like, home, of home and, like, you know, wanting to stay in Horseshoe Bay. Um, so, uh, that's kind of how what they're dealing with right now. Um, so, Bess enacts the ritual, so everyone goes into, this, like, this, like, weird, foggy, flashback type of ordeal where they see Tristan's um, past life interacting with the person who originally started the Sin Eater, who brought the Sin Eater curse to Horseshoe Bay. Uh, but they realize, wait, if this is supposed to be the moment where Nancy and Tristan needs to be at for their souls were linked many decades, many centuries ago, Nancy is actually a reincarnation of this man who brought the Sin Eater curse to, uh, to Horseshoe Bay. Uh, she gets, like, really, like, you know, upset with this considering the fact that technically she caused this evil to come to Horseshoe Bay in a way. Uh, she gets upset. She runs away. Um, Ace decides to return back to the corporate world to tell uh, Bess that, like, hey, we're not looking for the wife anymore. We're looking for the guy who brought the Sin Eater curse to, uh, to Horseshoe Bay. So uh, Bess is like, okay, we're, I'll go and uh, refic uh, tell Nick to go find um, the... Peace out, so to be on standby, not to, to to go after her, go after him. So um, Ace goes back into the into the corporate world. He finds Nancy with their death curse, and you know Nancy's just like you know obviously focusing on the negatives that like you know because in my life you know I brought all this darkness to Horseshoe Bay. I'm kind of like a very hard root cause of all this, and Ace is trying to see like no, it's not you. Like you being this mystery solver, this like good all around person, is kind of like your way of like. Um, forgiving your sins like you know you didn't cause these sins it was your previous self it, you have no relation to that but of course obviously she's still uh, hung up on it and you know she just doesn't want to let that go uh tristan comes over he said he found uh some hoof prints that could lead them to where they need to go next turns out uh tristan's uh, pastel buried the guy um near um dead man's gulch which of course is where nancy was born uh 19 years ago so yeah, so that is a big, big old key to like. Okay, they go. Over, so Nick goes over there uh, to get the piece. However, the, the townspeople already found um, Bess at the uh, at the Horseshoe Bay, uh, at the uh, the historic society. So they're ready with their pitchforks, like ready to kill them. Um, somehow, with the flat power of flash speed, um, Nick and George immediately arrive at horse at the horse historic society with a piece of the of the body. So. Now they have it to uh, enact the final ritual so they can sever the link. Uh, so Bess starts conducting the ritual. So in in the um, Dead Man's Gulch um, incorporated world type of ordeal, um, the uh, Gulf of Fire around, goes around Nancy. And you see the actual physical link between the soul link between her and Tristan and the death link between her and uh, her and... Um, and I forgot his name, Ace, Ace for a second. Uh, so you get to see both of them, and obviously it's it's clear, like, you know, they're saying, like, well, how do we know which one is, you know, Nancy, which one is the guy from the past? And Nancy's like, no, they're both, you know, linked together. Like, you know, they're they're mixed together. Like, you're not going to get one or the other, which I'm like, no, because remember, Tempers made the link between Nancy and Ace. So there's a clear definition. Like, for actually, for the power of temper, she fucked up and, like, actually gave them a cheat code of, like, no. So what we're doing is, like, severing the link between 
uh, her and Tristan. Um, well, he, the got the soul within Nancy and Tristan. So the ritual works. It cuts be it cuts um, the link off between her and Tristan. So Tristan manages to return back to the um, the real world to go actually do the antenna thing while they're trying to figure out how to like you know get Nancy and Ace out because Nancy's again stuck in this like you know disembodied state like you know. Uh, with everything going on, um, Ace is trying to pull her out, but it's not working. So Ace has to go super close to her inside the uh, the the Ferum, I think that's what they call it. And you know, somehow, eventually, with enough willpower, and you know, Ace using the whistle, they manage to both get themselves out of it. But you again, pay attention. The um, the the death curse was like very very much effective. We'll, we'll get back to that. Um, so they both come out at the same time because some like random person like threw uh, a um, Mazda Mazda cocktail into the building. So the entire historic society set on fire. Um, everyone heads outside. Uh, thankfully, the antenna beam manages to work. So Tristan unleashes the sin eater energy to kind of collect all the sins from around Horseshoe Bay, ending everyone's confusion. But of course, um, Nick, looking at the fire, tries to go back in to see if he can salvage something. But they're like, "No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. like you know." You don't owe this town anything, just, you know, let this happen. And, you know, Nick's obviously guilt-ridden and obviously sad, but at the same time, like, dude, it's your life. Like, definitely this was more important than, you know, your life is more important than, like, you know, trying to go in there and, like, trying to recover re relics and everything. So, um, thankfully, the town is saved again, and, you know, uh, but sadly, the historic society is being burned down as we speak. Um, we cut to a few, sometime later, where the Drew crew sends Ace, but with Tristan, and the and uh, Bess's girlfriend shows up, and to give their like final piece with um with the previous um incarnates of the Sin Eater to kind of like you know for Nancy like say I'm very sorry to you for like the damage I caused from my past life. Um, they don't have an update on Ace. Ace just had to leave after everything that happened because you know, uh. The damage that they had to do to cut the cut the souls was like very detrimental. It caused the it, the theory is that Nancy can never reincarnate again. So this is Nancy's last life, and same with Ace that you know the damage has been done so much that they can never reincarnate. Uh, which they're like, okay, that's how it is. We just got to live this life to the fullest, no matter what. Uh, everyone leaves except Tristan. Uh, Tristan and Nancy talk for a little bit about just what what's next for them and just what's next for their lives. That, that you know that. When they were soulmates, that was great, but, like, now that they're, like, fully free of any, you know, physical and emotional and spiritual entanglement to Horseshoe Bay, they can probably now fulfill real lives. They can actually go and, you know, see the world, and, you know, Tristan decides not to stay in Horseshoe Bay, but to, like, explore down the East Coast in his boat and just see the world. Well, at least the coast. Um... Nancy's totally supportive of this because, like, you know, he spent his entire existence stuck in this town. Now he can finally, like, go out into the world and see uh, what else is out there. Um, so it's very, it's it's very great to see. They hug and they accept the fact that, like, yeah, you know, we had our time together in many different lifetimes, but now we get to move forward and, like, you know, live life the way we can attend to be. Um... We regroup back up in the in the Drew house where Ryan say goodbye to his girlfriend. They're breaking up because, you know, two different de de destinations and everything. But, again, it's a very mutual breakup. They still kiss and they're still, like, very much romantically inter in interested in, in each other. But it's just not meant to be right now with their futures. Uh, but she does leave him behind a car in, or in case, like, you know, he, he does want to chase her down wherever she decides to go next. So, uh, again, another open-ended ending for Ryan. Um, Nancy's packing up the very last things from her room because she was using... Um, her bedroom was still there. It was just being used as storage. But now... Uh, I'm guessing Carson made, you know, uh, made it work out with the, um, his, um, kid's mom and the kid itself. They're like, they're going to move in here and they're going to use that room for uh, a nursery for the kid. And, you know, um, Nancy's going to leave for, uh, parts unknown. Uh, we'll, we'll get to her explain, ex ex explanation in a bit, but, um, yeah, she's leaving and, you know, she actually gives Carson a little, a little, a little adorable beanie so that. In case the kid decides to be a mystery solver, like her big uh, older sister, uh, spiritually speaking, that he or she can. And Carson's like, you know, overfilled with like, you know, that, you know, as much as he doesn't want another mystery solver, he's very excited for the fact of like being a father again, restarting this journey again. So they hug. Uh, everyone else shows up to help out with the with the move. Eventually, they all eat Chinese food and they give their own big news that uh, George has been accepted at the Seattle college that she was applying for, she's in officially. She's going to start um, ASAP. 
Uh, I think she's going to start with the, sm the summer semester or the fall semester. If I forgot what time period we are in, in the universe. But um, Nick's going on not a road trip anymore, but he's actually going to work at Tom Swift's, uh, one of his many, many different business avenues. And uh, I forgot what state he's going to, but uh, it's not far from them. But, like, he's still moving away to, like, you know, actually be an inventor, like, actually uh, work on stuff he wants to do. And, again, you know, still tying into the world of, like, you know, yeah, Tom Swift was a show that was a thing. Uh, for a very long time, and uh, R.E.P. to that show. And Best has decided to leave Horseshoe Bay to go around uh, America, uh, around the world, to find the missing artifacts that, you know, to replace the ones that they did lose in the fire. But apparently, before the fire even occurred, Best asked the, uh, the deputy if she could move some of the artifact out of the Horseshoe Bay uh, Historic Study before the fire, so they managed to salvage a lot of the things, but some things were still lost, so now Bess is going to go out into the world and find them. Um, and, you know, to restore the Underground Historic Society in style. Uh, and as for Nancy, uh, she's actually, well, the rev revelation is that the her previous live has given out the recipe for creating Sin Eaters across the East Coast. So there are other Sin Eaters out there that need to be destroyed. So Nancy's going to go out there with her last live to go find these Sin Eaters and, you know, and destroy them. That's her goal, and that means she has to leave Horseshoe Bay behind. She shuts down Nancy Drew's investigation, which was only in business for less than six months. That's, you know, that's what the, the Drew always said. Like, you know, uh, all business, almost businesses end in the first year of business, which I'm like, yep, thank you for uh, continuing that trend. Uh, Nancy's packing up. She's saying goodbye to the, to the castle. She's called home for less than six months. And then Ace comes in. Turns out he went down to North Carolina for the funeral. And he was thinking all that time of, like, you know, Wait, hold on. During when we were in the in the other world, like I physically, saw, I saw the curse get severely damaged when we were in the in when they were in the fire circle together. So he thinks that it might have been enough damage to kind of like, okay, now the curse can't kill us. Which means he's like, are you sure about that? And she's like, I am 50-50, But you know what? This is our last lives together, and if we end up we end our lives by kissing each other, so be it. They finally have their first, well, first official kiss, well, second official kiss, <laughs> and they don't die. They don't die, and they're, like, overcome with excitement, and, like, it's over, like, this curse that was, you know, put upon them for so long, it's finally over, it's finally destroyed, they can finally, you know, can admit to their feelings and, like, you know, be together finally, uh, which they do. Um, they show up to the claw for one last day of business, which I'm like... Okay, yeah, of course we need we need one more scene in the claw, and they're they're all leaving mementos behind uh, for the next generation of Horseshoe Bay workers at the claw. Um, um, Ace is leaving behind the whistle. Bess is leaving behind a fork. Um, George is leaving behind the uh, clam chowder recipe. I forgot what Nick's leaving behind, and um, both and Nancy's leaving behind her name tag to uh, for the next generation to work through. They're working for their last day together, packing up some stuff uh, before they have to leave that night. And, um, yeah. Last one closes up closes up the light for the night. Each one of them leave. Nancy volunteers to be the one to, to lock up. And the series ends with um, the claw being closed for business. For now. It's, it's not closed, closed, but like closed for business. And you get a shot of underneath one of the tables where... Um, you see all of their initials being carved out in a bottom table. Indicating no matter what, where they are in the world, Horseshoe Bay is always their home. And that was the end of Nancy Drew. As much as this is not a perfect finale, they definitely did a really, really great job of like making it one. Continue not having like this isn't like a uh, the end. It's more like the journey will always continue. Just you know, we will always just imagine in our heads what could be next for the Drew crew as they explore. Their futures, their passions, and, you know, um, I could have seen it in another way, like, we could have gotten a time jump, maybe, like, four or five years into the, into the future, catch up on them again, um, but, you know, they'll, they'll always be entangled together, and, you know, finally getting Nancy and Ace to finally be together, Nick to finally pursue his own dreams, George to finally figure out his place, her place in the world, and best to, like, continue having a purpose, uh, you know, providing knowledge to, like, uh, future generations, uh, was all insightful. Again, it wasn't perfect. It really wasn't because, you know, um, they were just they just didn't have enough time to work with it. But to get send-offs for both Carson, for both um, Ryan, 
some of the secondary characters was still great to see to get as much as we can in this episode. And um, it all worked out for the best. And I am very, very happy just how everyone ended up. It perfectly aligned with their storylines throughout the entire series. And especially with this season that thankfully they fought ahead and, sm and smartly navigated through this very, very bumpy um, road of, you know, having to say goodbye. And I will always remember this, these characters. I will always hope maybe we'll, we get to come back. But for now, this marks the end of the road for these characters as they move on to new beginnings. And um, with that being said, I think this episode perfectly wraps up a great season four. It wraps up a, a very great series. And it comes full circle of the journey that leads them to going to say goodbye. But with a room for hello in, again in the future. For, for, for this time being, I'm giving this episode two thumbs up. I enjoyed it so much. I will miss these people for the rest of my lives. And I'm, I'm still very, very sad that, you know, that the show's over. But at the same time, at least it went off on a high note. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of the series finale of Nancy Drew. I would love to hear your comments down below. But I believe that's going to do it for me today, everyone. So if you're unaware, this has been What's to Do from Action Chicks, Reviewing, having reviewed every episode in Nancy Drew. If you want to know what we're doing normally, what's to do besides our Nancy Drew episode reviews. Uh, right now we're doing Heels episode reviews each and every week after Brendan is on Stars. So, um, stay tuned for that. But if you don't care about Nancy Drew, this is the end of the rope. This was the final episode review ever. Uh... We're not done yet. Um, next week, we'll be posting our Season 4 review, non-spoilers edition, for anyone who has yet to catch out the full fourth season and final season of Nancy Drew um, right now. So you can go check that out there. But this is the last piece of new content we will probably ever get for Nancy Drew. This is the end of the drew universe as we know it. Five seasons. Well, four Nancy Drews, one Tom Swift. You know, it's all over. It's all said and done. Uh, but, of course, obviously, we will return in the future with definitive reviews for Nancy Drew as we will be back next year for Season 2. Um, so Nancy Drew will still live on in my heart for three more years, but it turns out like new content. This is the end of the road. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Like, favorite, share if you want to. Ring the bell and follow us on social media. But until we see each other again, thank you so much for everyone here in the Drew crew for supporting me for the last four years. It's been a, it's been a dream. It's been a treat. I hope to see you all down the road in another show review somewhere else. Who knows? Uh, but again, thank, subscribe if you haven't yet. Like, favorite, share if you want to. Ring the bell and follow us on social media. But until we see each other again, hopefully in the future, Drew Crew members, thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Uh, but until we see each other again down the road in, in the far, far future and in another, in another life, stay safe out there. Be good to each other. And as always, peace out.